morning. My name is Dr. Louis Terrier. I'm talking from my clinic in Lisbon. We are today, the 28th of March, 2020, in the middle of the COVID infection. But I'm not here to talk about that. But I'm going to make an update on the Borrelia phage PCR test that we have developed, Felix and Leicester University together. The test is based on a very simple principle, although the development was a bit complicated. Uh, it's based on the detection on the each bacteria as a private enemy, which is a phage, a virus, hunting the bacteria, penetrating the bacteria, and the viral DNA per, uh, is multiplied in dozens of replicas of the bacteria of the virus, which then are released in the circulation. Another scenario is that the viral DNA is mixes up with the bacterial one, and this mixed bacterial stays dormant for generations, and for some reasons, temperature changes, acidity or pH changes, antibiotic pressure, stress, it wakes up, and there also there is a liberation and in the in the blood circulation. And for these reasons, there are much more opportunities or chances to find the viral DNA than to find the bacterial one. So in a 5 ml blood sample, whole blood sample, we can more easily find the viral phage DNA than the bacterial one. And that's why the test is much more sensitive than a normal PCR, real-time or PCR or, or nested PCR. It's of course superior to the serological ones because they are suffering from all these controversial uh, results between ELISA, Western, Western blood, uh, IgG and IgM, uh, very confusing results. Any spots? Lymphocyte transformation tests could be very interesting ones, but they are fragile tests. Or they depend on the immune system status, which can be impaired by antibiotic treatments, um, immunomodulators, corticoids, other co-infections, and also the time length of the exposure of the antigen to the lymphocytes. So we strongly believe that the Borrelia phage PCR test is a much more sensitive and precise test. It's, it can also demonstrate that there is a living presence of the bacteria. It's a kind of an in vivo amplification system of the living, of the presence of living bacteria. So since September, we decided to put it at the disposal of the public. And we, we, that is to say Leicester University and Felix, have, decided, have selected a private facility, a private lab called Red Labs in Belgium, for several reasons. First, it's ideally located in Europe, between Northern and, and Southern Europe, and it has a US facility in Reno, Nevada. Second reason, they are mastering the DA, manual DNA extraction of the, uh, in, the, in the blood samples, which permits to monitor the test to be sure that we have the integrity and the exhaustivity of the viral DNA and that there is no human contamination. Second, they verify all the positive results by sequencing the results. So there is no false negative and there is no false positive. Moreover, primers and probes are specially designed for not only for Borrelia sensuli and all the species, but also for relapsing fever and for miamotoi. Since September, we have performed about 2,200 tests, and there are several interesting findings. Uh, we verified, of course, there's a superior sensitivity of the test, but also we found that in late stage patients, there is a much higher prevalence of Miyamoto than we expected, about 25 to 30 percent. 
This can be due to several factors. First, a diagnostic effect due to the specific primers and probes for Miyamotai and the sensitivity, the high sensitivity of the test. So a diagnostic effect. The second uh, explanation could be that lay, uh, in late stage, in pers Borrelia persisters, Miyamotai-like type persisters, are much more resistant to antibiotics. And if this is the case, we have to develop specific treatment for Miyamotoi cases. Another reason, very interesting one, as we know that bacteria, neighboring bacteria, exchange information through plasmids. So we can imagine that under the shelter of the same biofilm, neighboring bacteria exchanging information and plasmid and Miyamotoi plasmid information can, could be predominant and little by little neighbors and cousins are transformed in Miyamotoi type or Miyamotoi like bacteria. We will continue these developments and we will keep you posted. As I said, as the test permits, allows to verify, to demonstrate if there is a presence of living bacteria, it permits to monitor these treatments and to avoid antibiotic resistance by over-treating. So maybe this, uh, the, if the symptoms are due to other reasons or other co-infections, and to stop the treatment if, this, if it's the case and change it, and all, or on the contrary, to start again the treatment if we are facing a relapse uh, of, the, of, of the infection. So this could uh, permit to combat, to, to fight against antibiotic resistance. As I said, we are in the middle of the COVID infection. Miyamoto, uh, Borrelia patients are not more exposed than the other patients, but their immune system, system can be impaired. So please be cautious. Stay home, protect yourself. I will come back to you in a few weeks with new findings and new information on, the, on that test. Bye. Take care.